Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are coming up on a very unique challenge now that we have managed to tackle League 6. Yes, that's right. Last time we managed to get into League 6 and we bred up another beautiful puppy and this puppy was actually between Everpine, our beautiful German Shepherd, and Max who is our super awesome husky. And they both love being petted so we're going to have a really cuddly puppy that will hopefully be arriving to us today. But the challenge we are going to be facing now that we have tackled League 6 is actually trying to hire our all-time rival as our uh, new uh, our, our, our new helper around the place. So we've already got one employee and he has, his name is Dan and I actually think he's kind of hilarious. So we've got Dan who I pretend is the same Dan from Eat Your Sushi because that just cracks me up for some reason. But there's the ability to hire another employee now that we have reached League 6. And if we race our rival one more time and beat him one more time, then we will actually be able to hire our rival as a possible caretaker of our dogs. I think that sounds totally awesome. So we're going to be trying to get our new puppy. We are going to be going on races, searching for our rival and trying to hire him as an employee at our kennel and possibly even tackling the extremely large goal of reaching league number seven today as well. So let's see what we're at. $6,300. That would be a really awesome amount to have. There'd be lots of wind, lots of uh, trees, lots of rocks, and a long race with snow equality. So I think Domino would enjoy that. All right, so I think I need to caretake, uh, I need to take care of some of my dogs. Maximus and Max need rested. And then we'll have Dan train up uh, Everpine and Striker. Yuki can go ahead and rest for a little bit. All right, let's see. Maximus, you need one more day of rest. Max, are you done being rested? He is done being rested. So let me go ahead and kick him out of that little cuddle pile. There we go. And then, are you done? Are you done, Maximus? Or do you need one more day of being rested? Yeah, he's done being rested. All right. So then we're going to bring in these dogs. There's so many dogs now, you guys. <laughs> so many dogs. It'll be really useful if I do have uh, more hands on deck to help me out around the kennel, actually. All right, when's the race? Today's the race, today's the race. Okay, time to give everybody pets. This is going to be one of our first five dog races that is not related to the leagues whatsoever. So I'm not really sure who I want to take today. Um, let's go ahead and start fresh. I want to bring Domino as a lead dog. It's going to be a snowy day and he loves the snow. It's been a very long time since he has had his favorite thing because he has been off breeding as well. We will bring Max with us and then let's bring, um, we don't, we haven't figured out what Everpine skills are yet. It'd be a little bit of a risk to bring her, but I'm going to go ahead and bring her and Sierra and Stryker. Um, and Everpine may, we'll see how she would do on this. All right, so let's put wheel dog, lead dog. Uh, Everpine would come over here. She would have severe risk of exhaustion, but I think we'll be okay because I'll keep her close to me so we can throw her lots and lots of treats and that way we can build her uh, exhaustion capacity and give that little boost every time you have a perfect throw to a dog. So hopefully I won't regret that. I'm really a little worried I'm going to regret that, but we're going to try it out. There's so many puppies. I can't even see all my puppies. All right, Everpine, hang in there, girl. All right. Oh my gosh, and already we have the ropes trying to mess us up. I see you ropes. Oh my gosh, all right. Domino is gonna need something. Sierra is gonna need something. Max is gonna need something. Everpine needs something. All right, come on guys, we've got this. All right, let's see if I can get this to Everpine. Oh dang it, I missed her. All right, there we go though. And up to Domino, I shouldn't have. I'm so glad I haven't gotten rid of that food bag. Everybody's like, Sierra, you don't need to have the large food bag. You should go ahead and replace it for, for better ropes again. And I'm like, no, you don't understand, you guys. When I get nervous while I'm racing, I get fumble fingers and fumble fingers hurts our puppies. It's my fault, uh, like as in my fault, like the dogs have their faults and also my fault because then I start throwing the treats all over the place in totally the wrong directions and our poor puppies suffer for it. All right, there you go, Everpine. I feel like we do get quite a bit of a boost when we are tossing up treats to um, to dogs who aren't on, oh, <gasps> what, it's already over? I thought it was gonna be a long race. That, that hardly, oh my gosh, <laughs> $5,000 just like that. 
I mean, and Max is like, was I supposed to break a sweat during that? Huh, <laughs> I'm Max, of course I wouldn't. And look at that, so he's at fame level 11. How high can your fame level go? I feel like there should be an Easter egg if you have a dog that reaches max fame. Don't you guys think there should be an Easter egg if a dog reaches like max fame? Just completely, totally maxed out? Oh my goodness, all right, that's really cool. Anybody else get anything? Domino, did you get anything? That was so easy. He's really happy because it had been so long since his favorite thing. That was it. That was it. I'm going to have so much money. I'm going to have so much money <laughs> going on these races now. I love you, League Six. Thank you. We're going to finally be able to actually have some funds to do stuff. This is going to be fantastic. All right, we'll pull those puppies in. And then we'll give everybody some rest and everybody some pets too, so they can make sure to have their favorite thing. Oh, big puppy pile, big puppy pile. Uh, I'll get three chances to spend time with Cliffy and see what kind of attributes he'll grow into. I can choose to condition his natural aptitude, skill type, fault type, or favorite thing. Then I'll see what came of it. All right, so we're going to try his favorite thing this time because it's gonna be petting. And I just wanna make sure that when you only get a chance to condition like certain traits and then the rest will sort of be random once you get the dog. So I'm really glad we have conditioned petting to be his favorite thing. And let's go and get more money, puppies. Let's go and get more money. Maybe we can just straight up qualify for League 6 at this rate. Whoops, I shouldn't have done the caretaking. They've already been rested. That was that was a mistake. I, was, I wasn't thinking. All right. Oh, because I'm just so happy when I pet all of them. All right. So we're going to train everybody. Today is another racing day. So we're going to pull our, our sled dog team out and we're going to see what we can make of the race. All right, entering the race. It's a four dog race. Um, Let me go ahead and take my best team just in case the, well, I don't know. I think it's gonna be like another three or four races before our our little rival shows up. So I wonder if I should let Maximus go in the front. Maybe give him a chance to have a turn. And we still don't know. I kind of want to bring Everpine in because we still don't know her personality to this day. We still have no idea what her traits are. So I'll bring Everpine in and then Harmony hasn't been out for a little while. So we'll do we'll do this mix. All right, Everpine, you come over here. Domino over here, Harmony in the middle, and let's do this. All right, it's gonna be risky for Everpine. Yeah, no rival this time around, Fooey. I really wanted to beat him so that we can hire him because that just sounds so cool. All right, up we go, up we go. Oh, whoa, come on Everpine. There we go. And a little treat for you. She's gonna be severely exhausted, but she's really coped very well with uh, being expected to, oh, come on, Everpine, come on. Dang it, come on, guys, stop stealing Everpine's treats. Whoa. All right, come on, guys. And we'll see if Max can catch this. Oh, sweet, we got like double fame points from that boulder. I love boulders, they become like fame central spots. Uh, but that's really kind of like when you're you are used to racing the dogs is when you can start risking Jumping towards the boulders. Come on Everpine. Get it girl. Oh my gosh. It's my fault. Oh My goodness Max. I thought you were gonna steal Everpine's treat again, and I was gonna be so mad Everpine Please stop stealing treats. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is not cool. She lunges for treats like the others and when they lunge for treats and you don't give them treats in time It just makes a chaotic mess uh, Because then you can't get treats to your other dogs So she actually stole treats from Max and from Harmony Which causes a little bit of a problem to say the least. All right, come on Everpine Gonna have to make sure she has plenty of treats So if Everpine doesn't get the treat on time and that special skill Which is actually super annoying if you ask me kicks in she will steal a treat from the others So I need to remember that all right, come on. Well, oh, Everpine, couldn't you have caught the one that got in the pine tree? That would have been like really, really, really fitting. Are we in fourth place? What the heck? What the heck happened here? Not acceptable. Not acceptable at all. All right, let's try to pull this up. We can, we can get better. We can do better. Who's fussing? Who's unhappy? Oh my gosh, why Harmony? Maybe it was a mistake bringing Everpine, mostly because she lunges out of the way and I'm, I am I got totally thrown off. All right, hang in there, Harmony. More treats for Everpine. All right, throw up for Domino. So she's a little more aggressive than I was giving her credit for, that's for sure. Throw a treat up for Harmony. I'm gonna need another treat for Everpine. There we go. 
All right, another treat for her. Yeah, if I just feed her like twice as often as I feed any of my other dogs, it seems to work out okay. No, we ended up in second place. Phooey, well, that's okay. We still got we still got a good amount of winnings for that. Um, but geez, Everpine, do we know anything? Uh, races as middle. She, <laughs> Domino's mad at her. Domino's so mad. Domino has no rapport with Everpine anymore because he's frustrated that she probably stole all of the treats. Oh my gosh. Her fatigue capacity went up at least. Now she's gone on seven races as the middle, but we still don't know her traits. That's so interesting. Usually by now I will have learned the dog's traits. I kind of think she's supposed to be in the lead. Uh, maybe that's why Domino doesn't like her. So we could try racing her as a lead dog. That may actually be an indicator that she's supposed to be a lead dog. The fact that our lead dog doesn't like her. You're only supposed to have one lead dog. You can't have multiple results. They don't seem, you, can't, you know, it's like asking, asking two dogs to drive the same sled and they can't agree on where to go. It's just not going to end well. All right, let's go ahead and have everybody rest again. Everybody good? All right. I think everybody's rested. Everpine? Yeah, Everpine's rested. Harmony's rested. Sorry to all of the puppies who that became a gigantic mess over. All right, keep going. Yay! All right, you guys, it's time to do something again with Cliffy. So let's try his natural aptitude. We have no idea what this one may be, but he has a high potential for either of them. And... Dang it! Natural aptitude for the wheel, just like Max. Oh man, Cliffy, why? I don't need more wheel dogs. I need more middle dogs. Maybe I just need to breed Striker again. Striker, I need babies who are like you, please, who are just natural middle dogs. I don't think I even have another natural middle dog, like anywhere. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't. The only natural middle dog I actually have is Striker. There's something ridiculous about that. There's just something so ridiculous. All right, we're gonna train and it's time to go on a race. Yes, okay. So let's see if our uh, Everpine, we're gonna let you sit out, sweetie. And we're gonna go ahead and pull in. Let's see, should I have Yuki come on in? Hmm. It's been a little while since I've had Yuki in. We'll bring Yuki in and Striker and Sierra. There we go. So we'll have we'll have this little team over here and Dan is going to take care of the other dogs so that their skills don't drop. All right, Yuki, you come over to the wheel. Domino up there. Everybody is pretty good. There we go. Beautiful team. Beautiful, beautiful team. And let's see if no rival today. It just hit me. <laughs> we jumped that rock before we even had any dogs who needed any treats. That's kind of amazing. All right, just gotta feed everybody treats. If I can throw them as many perfects as possible, that's even more awesome. Yuki's probably gonna need this. Oh, dang it, too early on Yuki. Too early. All right, gotta get more perfects in there. All right. Yes, oh, I love the, the fame rocks. Fame rocks are so awesome. Domino, did you not catch that tree earlier? Fooey. all right, Yuki, there you go. And then there's for Striker, there we go. All right, so again, we didn't run into our rival here as I was hoping, that's a pity. I was really hoping that we would be able to uh, convince him to come work for us, but I guess we just have to show off our skills. And honestly, with the, the whole escapades that we had with Everpine, I can understand why it'd be like, what skills do you think you actually possess? Uh, Cause that was, kind of, that was kind of chaotic. All right, good job, Striker. And can I please catch, please, please, please. Yes, and Sierra caught that. I think you get more uh, beautiful Instagram photos and more fame if you can have them catch it like as they're jumping the rock. So I'll try to do that more often. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, speaking of jumping and catching things for rocks. Oh gosh. Wee! all right, this is awesome. I actually love it when the races get more challenging like this. <laughs> it's just so much fun to have a challenging race. All right, come on guys. All right, come on, Striker, you can do it. Catch it, ah, she didn't catch it, Fooey. All right, there's for Yuki. Gotta throw something all the way up top to Domino. Come on, puppies, come on. I'm bonking you guys in the head now. 
<laughs> yes, and Yuki is happy because we have had another victory. She's really come through as a really great dog for us as time has gone on. Will specialty level three. She is now just as talented as Max at running the wheel. So that'll be really good for if and when we ever want to breed Max. But why does he have to have every puppy end up being just like him? Oh my gosh. All right, so Will specialty up. Striker's fame is up to level eight. Not nearly as high as Max, who is our most famous dog at fame level 11. Can't believe that. <gasps> no! I'm gonna have $10 left? Really? You guys? <laughs> no! I wanted to be able to. I'm gonna have $10 left. <laughs> I really, I wanted to be able to try to qualify for the next league, but it isn't happening because my bills are due. So that that can sneak up on you. That can, that can definitely sneak up on you. All right. Yay, more conditioning with Cliffy. So at least I can do that much. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, I know what his, I know what, uh, can we try again? <gasps> can you actually try again? <gasps> I didn't know. Ah, oh, so you, I think you can try again with conditioning. Oh, dang it. And yeah, we can't qualify for League 6, but we can, or League 7, but we can at least pay for League 6. Oh my gosh, $7,500? A snowy, foggy race with treacherous snow? We're dead broke. So that's what we need to do. Let's do this, you guys. That's gonna be awesome. All right, onward, onward. We're gonna take on the most deadly, dangerous, amazing race that we've ever had to do. And we're gonna do it with the best of the best of our team. So let me go ahead and snag the top dogs. Max, we want Striker, Sierra, and Domino. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be pretty awesome. This is probably going to be the most difficult race we have ever gone on. Snow quality three, but thankfully my dogs will have very low exhaustion rate. They'll be very talented at this. And this is, I really want this amount of money. <laughs> that would be really cool. That would be, we have $10 in the bank account. We're so famous. We're a world famous sled dog racing team. And I have $10 in the bank account right now. So we kind of need this. We kind of need this win really badly. All right, anybody need this treat by any chance? Oh, there, Max caught it at least. All right, don't need to throw the treat yet. They're doing a really good job. Super treacherous race. All right, see if Domino can get that. The tree stole it, why? All right, there's for Sierra. There you go, guys. Oh, I didn't notice I swapped the normal spots that I usually put Sierra and Striker. Can you two catch those? Yes, all right, a little bit of fame. A little bit of fame is healthy for a sled dog diet, if you ask me. We'll keep everybody racing. All right, good job, good job. Hang in there, puppies. You guys are literally going to be saving the kennels because we have no money. All right, there we go, there we go. Come on, everybody. There we go, good job. And throw this and throw that. Oh my gosh, the wind made me miss every single toss that I just tossed to my puppies. All right, we're good there. All right, Domino caught it. Oh, I'm like so focused, so intense, so focused, so broke. We need this. If you guys want, if you guys want to like have food, we kind of need to win this, please. All right, who is hungry? Anybody hungry? Not really to be able to get any uh, fame from that. All right, hang on, gotta wait until I can see the puff puffs. Until you see the puffing of the breath, if you start throwing treats, you're wasting chances for perfect throws. <gasps> okay, who cares, who cares? Everybody eat! Oh my gosh, everybody eat! Yes! <gasps> we won! We won! $5,700, wonderful! Oh, I think we've had that much money before. I, I think I was looking at an even bigger race for some reason. <laughs> All right, anything happen? Fame level 10 on Domino. Max is still the most famous. Um, no, I don't want to hire another dog. And yeah, no, what? We missed the race. We The $7,500 race didn't happen yet. We had some other race show up and, and still it's thunder. That is not, that. no, I want the $7,500 race. That will officially be the race. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It disappeared again. That will officially be the race with the most money we have ever earned. We're going to race that race. There it is. 
<gasps> there it is, you guys. $7,500 races. That's more like it. The treacherous race is right here. Okay, I gotta give everybody their lucky pets. And it's gonna have five dogs on the team. And we are gonna do our absolute best to win this. Okay, we're gonna do this. All right, where's, where's Harmony? All right, Harmony is another one of our top dogs. That's why I bring her in here. Domino's in lead. Harmony, you're gonna be at the back so I can take care of you. Striker behind Domino. All right, Sierra in the middle. <gasps> it's our rival! Yes! Let's do this! If we beat him, we'll be able to hire him! All right, all right. Treacherous snow, treacherous snow, treacherous snow. Of course he would have to show up on a day with treacherous snow. Oh, dang it, all right, come on. I've got to start chucking these treats. Okay, good, good. Everybody line up. Okay, come on, Max. You've got this. All right, Domino's gonna need something soon. Harmony's gonna need something a little sooner than the others. Sierra, I didn't throw that hard enough for. All right, throw. Okay, gotta be a little more careful. This is why I'm really glad I kept my gigantic treat bag. All right, there we go. Oh boy, that was exciting. All right, can't see a thing sometimes with the trees and all of the flashing. Man, flashing cameras can be so dangerous for my puppies. <laughs> I'm sorry, Striker. Maybe if you had eaten the tree instead of trying to dodge it, we wouldn't have had that issue. Oh man, the flashing cameras are kind of like a, a curse and an exciting thing. Oh my gosh all at once because on the one hand you're like yeah fame and on the other hand you're like I can't see <laughs> I can't figure out how to help my dogs but this may very well be one of our most famous races we've ever run because we may finally finally be able to make our rival bow down to us and join our sled dog team as a trainer which would be pretty darn amazing all right come on Harmony oh my gosh please <gasps> $7,500 and we beat our rival with his gigantic cleft chin. Take that, buddy. Take that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Fame. Fame all over the place. Favorite things all over the place. There's just, there was flashing cameras to the point where I couldn't see my own dogs. Harmony. Jeez Louise. Gone up to fame level seven. So close on Sierra. All right, come on, everybody. There we go. All right, so fame up on uh, Harmony. And let's just see what happened here. It looks like he's making good on his offer. The jerk has made himself available as an employee for my team. It's up to me if I hire him or not, and I can't bring myself to let him work for free. But he seems like a solid worker. All right, so you guys, what is this? Cliff has grown up. He is a full-fledged member of the team now. Let's get him a harness. All right. So there's also awesome Cliff has grown up today too. So a lot going on for sure. Um, I don't think we'll end up keeping Cliff because he is a wheel dog and I already have two fantastic wheel dogs. I was going for middle dogs and it didn't work out. I think we may actually breed up uh, Striker and Max again because <laughs> Max has the petting that I want to pass on and Striker is literally my only middle dog with natural aptitude for middle uh, that we have so far. And we're gonna have to go see, can we really hire? Would it be possible? to uh to possibly oh my gosh the jerk it's just the jerk that's hilarious <laughs> and he would have plus plus trading plus plus caretaking and he would go uh at three thousand dollars a month so we're probably gonna have to hire the jerk because i think that would be really fun and we are starting to really pull in a lot of money from the races we are going on too that's pretty awesome that is that is really awesome all right, so we're making really good progress. I think we may just have a shot of actually entering a League 7 before our winter sled dog racing is over for the year. And I'm really excited and really proud to see how far we've come. And I cannot wait to see how far we still have to go. And why do we not know Everpine's aptitude yet? I'm beginning to wonder if she's like a lead dog or maybe a wheel dog. She's a strong dog. Hmm. We're going to have to figure out what Everpine is up to. We may peek at some of the other dogs we could possibly hire because uh, there's so many amazing ones. Lots of black labs. There's the schnauzers who are kind of adorable. Um, and, you know, just start breeding our dogs a little bit more too to see what kind of puppies they would turn out to be. So far, everybody's a wheel dog. Everybody's been a wheel dog. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.